joking. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of Australian accents. What? You see the new... Uh, did I even tell you about this? Did we talk about this? No. The new Hannah Gatsby? No. Fucking rules, Heard dude. it's fire, dude. It's rules. You see, first step... First Hannah Gatsby was, ah, I've been raped. Mm-hmm. Second one is, now I'm retarded. <laughs> really? Yeah. People were like, how are you going to top? I'm gay and I've been raped. True. No one thought she could do it. Boom. I'm also retarded. What's she claiming? She's claiming autism. I don't, I think. <laughs> did she self-diagnose? Because I think that would exclude her from autism. She's like, no, I looked it up. I'm autistic. I'd be like. No, an autistic guy would be like, I'm fine. <laughs> Let's get back to this wrestling. <laughs> I love trains. Yeah. <clears throat> No, she, uh, I'm not saying she's not, who knows, but it's funny to be like, all right, new comedy special. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, can fine. I, can I be black? And they're like, no. And you're like, yeah. hmm. <laughs> yeah, she definitely. What if won. I just have heavily... Guarantee she's done 10 <clears throat> ancestry.coms. Oh my she's like, God. The test was wrong. I'm definitely part of it. It's like a chick with a pregnancy, pregnancy test wants to like trap a dude. She's like, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. That's Hannah Gadsby with. True. 23 and me's like 97 percent white so. yeah impossible yeah that was a it was a fun special was it good yeah she's the confidence that she has in the beginning of that special is it's unparalleled what's that autistic she comes out and she's like you have no idea how good this is about to be step ah, one scoring some autism oh, points. Fucking <laughs> lady. all right it's starting to she's be like i've got a louis ck joke coming right at you at the end of the show, you're going to love it. Also, did I mention? And she drops the bomb is, right away. Keeps, yeah. Did she talk about how she like got diagnosed? She just comes out. This is like, by the way, this is what it is. Well, her, or, Yeah, I think I stopped. I kind of stopped watching. Think I didn't she, get to the Louis C.K. closer. But she did that first, first special. Mm -hmm. Claimed she was retiring from stand-up. I think even in the special. She was like, this industry is disgusting. I don't want anything to do with it. Yeah. I'm out. Fuck you. And then she was like, it blew up. She was like, all right, I'm going to have to tour. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> they were like, all right, here's $20 million. She was like, all right, I'll stick around. Yeah. I don't know if it was that much, obviously, but because I, I can't imagine how it could be. But mm. she then changed her platform to as long as somebody like Louis C.K. is still in the business, I have to be. So she's Batman. She is Batman. She, is she doesn't even want to be doing it. She's she's the reluctant fucking hero, dude. She doesn't even want any part of this, but she has to. She has to tell you about her problems. So she got the tour money, finally got health care, and like, oh, so uh, blood pressure's looking good. You're autistic, and uh <laughs> oh, she she must have just been like, <clears throat> fuck yes. I'm, I'm I don't know how that. How do you get diagnosed as an adult? Who's also like crafting comedy specials and doing this, and they're like, it seems very strange. I don't know. I'm I don't. Gonna, look, I don't, don't want to fake news her on that because that is her journey. True. It's just funny to continue when you when you are when you put put all your chips in as you use your victim chips on the first one. True. If that's your brand of like I'm a victim, that's what I'm doing. True. That's a tough one, dude. That was her close. It's like oh fuck. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot I had this. Retarded. Retarded. <laughs> Retard. Yeah, man, that's... that's you know weird. how to say that word. What? I think you can say it in Alex Jones' voice. Retard. Retard. Australian and Alex Jones' voice. That's the only way. Retarded. Yeah. Retarded. <laughs> oh, got bad news for you. Yeah, man. I mean... Where are we at? Uh, we're pretty much done. We're, I think, we're, I think we've, we've ripped a... Uh... Oh, yeah. We, we've been ripping for a while now. What, what time is it? 6.30. Oh, LaMare, you got a mic. It's okay. It's 6.23. Okay. He's up don't, plenty of time. Don't sacrifice us. LaMare, I, I appreciate you stifling your laughter through this episode for us. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Oh, yeah, fuck. We could have used your laugh a lot more this episode. Did that get in your head at all? It does get in your head, doesn't it? The the, uh, the guy telling me to shut up? Yeah. Yeah. It's very fucking annoying <laughs> yeah. when Lamar, you get an internet I want to hear your. I want to hear your laughter. But, yeah, man. We need your laughter, especially, you know. Yeah. Thank you, guys. An episode like this. Noah, no one said shit to you, and you were awfully quiet. True. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I see he's trying to be funny. I watched him think of something funny. I was like, don't do not do it. There's going to be penis again. Yeah, it's man. It's pretty funny, actually. I'm curious. I, I really – I'm curious what's going to shape out, what's going to shape out of this, but I, I do think there will be a sizable chunk of people just being like, fuck this shit all together. 
It's happening, bro. Big things happen. I'm I'm working with some underground movements right now. People don't even know about. Big like, time. Like ones, what? Bro. Big time ones. Yeah. I'm actually doing stuff, bro. Your underground movement. What yeah, is bro. it? Free therapy for all. Don't talk about that. I'm <laughs> doing all that. Yeah, I'm working stuff. That's what happens when you you ignore the thing and you're like, all right, I'm not going to emotionally buy into media narratives. What are some problems at hand that I can just jump into and actually fix, rather than being like. This is me at a protest. It's like, yeah, cool. <laughs> There's fucking nine million others of you. Go, go do something. Yeah, run for fucking office. Go do something rather than sitting on Twitter and being like, I went on a date with a comedian and he told me to suck his dick, and I was like, okay, but I totally didn't want it. It's like, yeah. All right, man. Thanks. And You've contributed just, fucking again, nil. It just sucks when there's so many of those and there's definitely people with those real stories. Yeah. And then you've got all these people just like, he was mean on a date. Get him. Who's it's worse? Like, Wait a second. Who's worse? A guy who's mean on a date or some attention starved psycho that when discussing rape and pedophilia is like, oh, uh, also, I'm in there. Also, he was kind of a dick to me. Don't forget about it. And it's like, True. Get the fuck out. Get out. You're literally clogging the airwaves with your weird, crazy bullshit. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. He cheated. Look at this. He tried to cheat on his wife with me. It's like, I'm not talking about that, dude. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, sure, that's not great, but. Also, let's lay it what? down. Adulterers, if you get caught being a adulterer, you're fired. I'm fine. I can get behind that. Canceling adulterers Man, is so funny. Yeah, it's early in the marriage. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. You, that's <laughs> early to be like, psh, no problem. Nope, dude. I know that's fucked up. I'm sorry. Disgusting. No, I'm sorry to actually, make that joke. I sexual apologize. hilarious. I apologize. That's a cancelable offense, dude. I Insinuating that I'm a fucking that adulterer. That actually is a fucking dick A move. filthy fucking adulterer. What do you mean filthy? What are you <laughs> <laughs> I adulterate. Uh, no, you weren't even married, dude. You can't adulterate. I can't. I, I'm not even in a relationship. I can't. You just, you just have uh, sex out of wedlock. You just have you know, sex with people that you're not married to, which should be a cancelable offense as well. If we're going to do adulterer. If we're gonna do adulterers, we should do uh, premarital sex. It sucks. As well. I grew up fucking listening to all these dudes brag about how cool getting pussy was. True. Now I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. And yeah. Now everyone's like, that's actually evil. Yeah. Like, unless you're a rapper, then we all think it's cool. Then it rules. Eh, that's Drake. Drake <laughs> skirted through the Delilia dilemma. Yeah, we've yeah we covered that. Drake has Drake has too many hits, dude. He had a couple. Yeah, but it's like. Again, we'll say it. we are right think, now. Yo, Jeff Jeff Ross hit the fucking. I heard he got hit hard. He, he got hit hard, and then also he he swung back. What did he say? I forget. I think he said she was crazy and uses drugs. <laughs> 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 he like literally swung back with like bitch is lying. She's fucking crazy. Is a husband, screensh- a husband, yeah. Screenshots. I don't know. I don't. Again, I didn't look into it, but it is, dude. It's such a serious accusation. That, what like, was the act? Let's. Come, his was like a, he fucked a fifteen year old, like did it. That was the accusation. I don't, I don't know. Didn't just try. He there. She was like he fucked me when she. Lamar, you got any info on this? No, I didn't. I was listening. I so uh, he said uh, the the story though. We don't need it. I don't want to drag Jeff Ross. Well, I don't want to. That's the other thing too. It's like I have no. I I don't have any quarter for pedophiles. I don't want to. You know, no. I don't want to be a pedophile excuser. No, but it's like also though that's the thing, dude. And then nobody wants to talk about it. It's like this was the I believe all women thing. It's like okay, so a fifteen, if a girl comes out like hey, this guy fucked me when he was fifteen, when I was fifteen, it's like she might not be lying. She also could. These are the possibilities, right? Yeah. The thing is, it's like so you know I believe all women. All right, so if a woman says this guy fucked me, did some sort of sexual thing, I automatically assume they're telling the truth and I believe them. What if a woman says like, oh, I saw that guy one time and you know he stole something from my house. Do you believe her when she talks about stealing stuff? You know what I mean? It's got, it's just weird. It, it doesn't really. It's true. Should we believe all Karens? Exactly, dude. When she calls the cops and is like, oh, there's a black guy who's attacking me in Central Park. Do we believe all Karens as well? No, and that's all this is. It's different. Fra- it's like a situation comes up and you have like nine different rigid frameworks. You can <laughs> Sorry, run them I just laid it LeMaire because I know exactly how he feels. It's very believe funny. in all Karens? He hates Karens, dude. LeMaire, dude, why do you hate Karens? No, he hates – in Lemaire's defense, Lemaire, Lemaire has had a strong anti-white people in general stance since I met him, particularly white women. I respect – So I, I do respect his stance on this. And that's my thing. Maybe I'm fucked up, but it's like my favorite – I love watching like Farrakhan. I love watching I'm, black I'm racist so teams. I'm sorry. I'm so glad I have this seat. I get to watch <laughs> – you have – no, I get to watch this. Like first off, you close that curtain on Noah. He's been like this the whole, <laughs> the whole episode. He's been peering in. And – 
<laughs> whenever it's really funny. Whenever we say anything about race, I'm like, you look at you look to Lamar. It's good to have a, like just I know I know I'm not stupid. I know Lamar doesn't speak for all black people. What? I know I, you can't. That's not the that's not the deal. Lump them in. Well, Lamar, that wasn't the deal we struck. I'm like, look, we need someone to speak for all black people. Can yeah. you do that, please? Yeah, are you one black person? Well, then we think you're all the same. <laughs> black people don't do this. True. In, in yeah, and she made it through COVID. That seems and, impossible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so did Biden. True. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, he might, I think he sleeps in that, like, Wolverine water every night. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think they have him hooked up. Just doing Adderall. <laughs> Yeah, Hunty's been in. Hunty's been. Uh, Hunter was over in Ireland. Hunty oh yeah, saved him, yeah. Hunter was with him in Ireland. I want to party with that Dude, guy. That intro they gave him was insane. What was the intro? You see him in Dublin, Biden in Dublin. No. I saw the little clip of him Dude, being. He like, came out to like shipping up to Boston. He walked on stage. There was like lights. What? It was fucking crazy, dude. And he walks out just. He doesn't move his head when he walks. All right, yeah, he can't. He doesn't move anything. Yeah, they, they probably have like stitches holding his brain yeah. in like, one place. <laughs> You know when you have like an old fucked up car battery and you can't move too far, yeah. it goes off. They probably have it like like an old PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Get that fucking intro screen. You're like, yes, yeah. it worked. Don't move your neck at all. all. He's a Walkman. He is, dude. He's gone. Yeah, man. And he's talking about running again. Yeah, he can't. Dude. They keep saying that they can't, dude. They cannot. It's crazy. But he has to while he's in. He has to be like, yeah, I'll fucking do it again. Right. So he can't be like, no, I'm old as fucking, losing my mind. I can't do it again. Yeah. So yeah, he's True. Like, yeah, he keeps saying I'm considering it. Mm. I'm considering, yeah. He has said I'm going to. We just haven't figured out when. Yeah, he uh, almost announced. didn't take the presidency allegedly after uh, Obama because his son died. Yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah. He dropped like... out in 08. Or no, no. Oh, they said it was 16. Hillary's turn. 16, he he didn't run. But he said the party clued to get some kind of yeah, and was like, obviously. it's her turn. Obviously, they said it was her turn. They cut out Bernie. Yeah. Mm. They actively... Eliminated him. Yeah, that was crazy. They really no one thought. Cared. I mean, it was she was boss pants. So she did have boss pants. Lady she boss been a pants. Motherfucker oh, yeah. in those. God damn. Behind closed doors, her just yelling at you. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Big labia. Just pinching one off. Just a giant labia. The pinching one off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carrying hot sauce in case she runs into a black. Yeah. What's in your bag? Hot yeah. sauce. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. She thinks talk to Bill like, how did you get all those black people to like you so much? It's like, yeah. He's like, I played I the remember. sax. Played the sax on Arsenio. Got some pussy. Yeah. yeah pussy, sax. Yeah, that sucks for her, dude. She, and McDonald's. She tried. Every politician has to try to like court the black vote. Every yeah. white Democrat has to like basically do the black room trump's done yeah. the best of the republicans trump of easily, the republicans easily desantis has to step it up he had a moment oh lincoln did like pretty fizzling. good true lincoln <laughs> oh yeah Black's lincoln like did lincoln. pretty good for the republicans <laughs> <laughs> with the black <laughs> that was an easy one yeah like, like who do you guys want to vote for <laughs> true the tall guy <laughs> the tall guy that wants to free you <laughs> Ooh, that other that must have been crazy news for a slave like wait what there's a guy yeah, on our yeah. side yeah. that's insane yeah you're sounding out the newspaper being like what the fuck they're like you must be misery <laughs> you must be <laughs> misery well, yeah. you, know? <laughs> you can't read yeah they weren't allowed you lied motherfucker <laughs> 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 that's what Juneteenth is. Juneteenth. They yeah, what finally, is that? Well, they in, keep hearing about it. It was like we've been celebrating the whole time. It was, uh, not a year. I don't know how long after. Yeah, yeah. After the Emancipation Proclamation, somebody finally got to a place in Texas and was like, "You know, you guys are free, right?" They, <laughs> they didn't like, know. What? Yeah, Whoa. dude. You've been working for the last fucking seven months. Well, they didn't have phones. Yeah. Damn. I mean, they slavery didn't have telegrams. is diabolical. That's, that slave owner was definitely like, oh yeah, yeah dude, for sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna let this news get out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> slavery is diabolical, but like, once they're like, all right, you're free to keep it going. Is like that's double dive. That's yeah, oh, maybe dude. not double, but there it is that's super diabolical. Lot. Sorry, <laughs> super diabolical. But a yeah. lot of them couldn't read. But I guess he was trying to hide the front page. Of the paper. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure guys coming by on like horse, like, did you hear the news? And he's like, <laughs> fuck up, dude. Keep it moving. <laughs> Lighting off fireworks. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be a crazy. See other black people walking around outside. Yeah. Like, How'd you do that? 
<laughs> Get out. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this up for me. <laughs> It'd be funny if we only had like two slaves left. Yeah, just, just, uh, just one guy. <laughs> you guys just are all right, one man. Guy. You know what I'm saying? You guys, I feel like there's opportunities here for you, you know, spitballing. <laughs> I mean, dude, even if it did. Yeah, true. God, man. what a That must have been crazy for slaves to be free and then just they have white dudes walking around like, Oh Sorry. yeah! No, nah, they didn't. They didn't do that. They were like, still Sorry. scary. They were like, "Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck. I can't believe you got free." <laughs> yeah, it's weird. We, they seem to hate white people more now than they did then. We were like controlling ex boyfriends, basically. Tell that to Nat Turner. <laughs> <laughs> Old Natty Light. Natty Light was not a big fan, dude. <laughs> Think, what was Nat Turner? Nat Turner had a slave revolt. Oh yeah, yeah. He, was, yeah, he got nasty with the boys. He was right. He was right. It's the right move. Yeah. I talk about it a lot. Same thing with the Haitian Revolution. It's like, yeah, that's the right I move. I don't know about what happened with the Haitian. They got rowdy. Oh, yeah? They realized they outnumbered the French like machete. 15 to 1 on the Whoa. island. Oh. And they were all bye getting bye? handed machetes. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> How like, do you talk about that one? <laughs> I didn't mean there it. There was one proto anime yeah. black dude just fucking like Ooh, a style bender. <laughs> style bender. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they definitely were showboating. <laughs> they oh, were showboating, yeah. dude. I mean, dude, I I could tap into that of just being like a Haitian slave running full speed at your French master with a machete. Mm. It gets the juices flowing yeah. personally. It's the oh, Irish yeah. blood in you, bro. Yeah, true, true. Just fucking. <laughs> That's the white slave blood in you, brother. I mean, yeah, true. We're not allowed to talk about it. Not allowed to talk I mean, about it. Didn't happen. Still, Our still, ancestors suffering we're didn't still matter. Being <laughs> fucking oppre- we're still being oppressed, dude. It's 2023. We, we can't even talk about it. Can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> you and might be on to something, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the IRA? Is that still going on? No, not really. Is it is peace know. in Ireland? Yeah. There oh, has all been. Right. Yeah, there has they been. They chilled? Yeah. The bombs. Once you bring out the bombs, people start. You get the people. You know, you get the ear. Yeah, the, the Molotov across the country. Yeah, especially when you start getting framed by, you know, MI6. Yeah, mm. spy versus spy at that point, though. They joined. They joined with the Protestants. Started framing the IRA for shit. Bullshit. Damn, yeah. Protestants. Yeah. Nasty they're, Protestants. Yeah, dude. they're the worst. Yeah, they're nasty. The worst. Nasty. Fighting yeah. over religion and different religions. Yeah, they're all religion. The whole the whole point of the religion is like every man for themselves. It's like yeah, well, fucking. It's on you, bro. Mm. Don't bother mm. me. And then the Vikings popped over there for a hot minute. Yeah. To Ireland? Yeah. Yeah, that was wild. That was way I watched back. a YouTube video. Yeah. yeah they're back. I got Viking blood in me. There little, you go. A little bit. I mean, well, you know, you know, loser and winner combined. Yeah. You know, it's a shame to think about. What? My poor great, 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 great. Seeing, those, seeing the QAnon shaman dude coming off the boat. Storm in the castle, slain my great 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 grandfather. Yeah, and this fucking fuck. his wife. I mean, he's probably jacked as fucking tall. Yeah, true. Which obviously, you know, talking a long time back then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously that's some play now, but back then it's got. I mean, you know, oh, yeah, that's where they're from. True. Oh, sure. They were sitting there and they were going, "We should go somewhere else and rape everyone." Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you want to get in a boat and rape everybody we find? Yeah, that's tough though. That's like sure. I'm not nest. doing anything. Hitting Ireland with no concept of just like a number one spaz country must have been like, hey, we'll, we'll chill on that place. That was crazy. <laughs> that was fun. Apparently, up England hated gingers. Ireland because of the sexual licentiousness. They were like, just they were saying they went there and it was just disgusting. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, it was just dudes just fucking like their yeah, like daughters. Nah, England daughters. and Ireland, they were the same. Yeah, back in the day, Rome got there. That's mm. who. That must be Rome who it was. got there and got into. They just stopped at basically Scotland. Yeah. Adrian's Wall. They're like, nothing's good up there. Yeah, we're good. Nothing's good in Ireland. It's a bunch of fucking swamp people. But then they got Britain, though. And then they... They took Britain. Thought but people. even those people were out of control. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Good to know. No, they freaks. weren't always posh and proper. No. Walking through, like, I think 35 Ireland, BC. Ireland dominated England for a while. Did it? Really? Yeah, back in the day. I could see that. I think with the Viking boys. Yeah. They teamed up? The Vikings just stayed in Ireland. Sweet. Yeah. They weren't just raiding. They had like cities and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like so, Dublin. Dublin was a Viking city. Really? So, I believe so. Dufflin. Yeah, didn't they have like three different regimes come or Ireland? Wasn't it conquered like multiple times? I think Vikings yeah. and a couple other people. They've all been conquered. Yeah. Over and over again. It's pretty tight. Mm. And the Anglo the Saxons moved in. Ah, uh, yes. So they're the Anglo Saxons. The Saxons were from sat like Netherlands, Belgium area. I think. So there's the Celts, the Saxons. All types of bullshit. And the Briggs. Who knows anything? 
True. I don't mm. know. I just know I got that the Norwegian. Britons. Somehow have Norwegian DNA, according to ah, that's, that's it. Like, that's the that Viking. A yeah, is that a fucking thing? Yeah. Fin- no, Finnish. Excuse me, Finnish. Uh-huh. But I don't want to bore you guys with my genetic profile. That's fine. My ancestral trauma. We're all processing it the same way. You know, it carries over your ancestral yeah, the dude. trauma. It's still with you today. I know. If something bad happened to your ancestors, it's with you today. I mean, I'm going to ask that. I'm going to ask that you don't, when we play UFC, that you don't jump on top of me while I'm on the ground. True. It spikes my ancestral trauma, and then I can't play. True. Like, all I want to do is play you, UFC. I, dude. Wish you uh, I was loving watching it. I want to get this fun. podcast done and just play UFC. It's the real thing. We should take a break every 10 minutes. Oh, we, we could stream an episode. Oh, yeah, we Patreon. We should just play an episode right now. We can headsets. We can do headsets, UFC, and talk the entire time. I'll commentate. It'd be terrible. It'd just be. <sighs> it would. <dude. laughs> just button smashing. Sticky button. <laughs> button sucks. The guy, my guy sucks. <laughs> oh, let me cut, cut that. Let me cut that. Cut that part out. My button stuck there. Cut that part out. Lamare, you were feeling good after that. You knocked out Nate Diaz with Max Holloway. It felt nice. It felt good. And then what happened? <laughs> Two first round knockouts. Under the ground. Deal, obviously. Ouch. Right to the ground. I can Well, I knocked you out and then jumped on you. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a takedown. Yeah. Did you feel time. like you learned though? Like your game increased? On the my ground? game, I feel like it increases. I lose, but I'm like I definitely get XP points every time I play. <laughs> Makes sense. Going to the legs. When you check my leg kick, it's the beginning of the end. If I get one leg check kicked, I fall apart. Yeah, you stop doing it. I fall apart. Uh, yeah, yeah, I completely I've noticed stop. that. Lemare likes to open with a one two leg combo. Yeah. Of, uh, I know how I know point. how you guys play. Yeah. You gotta switch it up. You can't just go straight for the face. What's the pecking order right now versus Lemare and Gardini? Who's Uh-oh. better? Yeah, who won last time you guys played? I think Gard- I think Lemare did. I oh, hate these two humble too superstars. Humble. Too humble. Too humble. <laughs> I hate how falsely humble you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Standard. Yeah, man. Dude, the LX is heated seats or EX is like heated seats. All this, yeah. all this nonsense. Moonroof, dude. It's eight thousand more dollars. It's like, dude, they start hitting the, they crush the base with the financing. Yeah. So they're like, well, it's this much, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, what's you can the crush interest? The base. Dude, you go in, you go, what's the total interest on the life of the loan? 60 month loan, you do the monthly payments times 60. And then you take it off of what you paid. You start looking, oh, shit, I'm going to pay four grand in fucking interest. Yeah. So I was doing, I was doing dad math. Single, yeah. You watch a single lady come in. Oh, God, dude. All the boys start licking their chops. And then you see an Indian family come in. The boys head for the hills. You get stuck with an Indian family. That's an all day. Yeah, they're dude. They're they and love. They will them. haggle your yeah. dick off and then leave without paying. They have no pro. Dude, props to Indians haggling. Oh yeah, they have no problem walking away like, at any at moment. The very last minute, they'll get you to the brink and walk you. <laughs> and you'll be like, dude, I'd sat with you guys for four hours and just leave. Dude, you'll test drive. They they love the Honda Odyssey. Yeah. They need the van. They need that, and they pack it. So it's you and fucking six Indian people. You go with them? Yeah, test drive with them. They send it. They send you loan. They bring now. their kids. They fill the whole thing up. It's wild. Damn. How they go alone because of COVID? I don't. You maybe. could still do that. You could, could still. You, yeah. you could give people a car. But you for wanted like that's a, for me. If I was slanging, if I was slanging metal, I'd like to be in on the test drive. That's yeah. when you start being like, yeah. If you want to check that, it's a little new. Little I would. Thing. Well, what you do is you sit in the back, especially Ooh. if it's a couple. That way you can read the fucking sticker. When they're like, so uh, how many? What horsepower is this? You're like. 240. <laughs> like you can, <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, it's tinted window. You just yeah, you can start. It. That's actually that's a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I love nicotine. <laughs> what Man. about what about Lucy? I'm thinking I'm thinking of starting nicotine, dude. Get addicted to nicotine. I'm thinking and let I'm me tell start. you. Let's start with the top. Lucy offers a 12 milligram nicotine. It's a lot. I might as well go that's all That's a in. strong nicotine pouch. I might as well go all in. Uh, Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast is brought to you by Lucy. Shane, riff on Lucy. <laughs> what do you think about Lucy? What do you think about I love your riffing on Lucy? What do I think about? It? It's debilitating. Yeah, yeah. I heard it. I heard, I did hear a lot of writers like it, they feel like it speeds up the old. It thing. does. It actually does. I mean, it does have nicotine. Does have that. Yeah. Um. We can maybe get Sid the kid on. Sid the kid just started caffeine. Maybe get him some nicotine. Oh, he's he got to be out started. of control on caffeine. Absolutely. He just started. He's out of control dude. on life, dude. Dude, he's on caffeine now. How's he's got to be firing on all cylinders? He loves it. Texting, does, calling people. A little bit. He's a little, but he was like, dude, I didn't know this is how people live. Like, people yeah. could have energy. Wait till he time. gets to fucking Adderall. True. Bro. Yeah, true. Some Adafinil. I'll take one Adderall, Adderall and be like, holy shit, I'm invincible. <laughs> but then, you, then you're nubbed. Then you're on the great air. Yeah, that's zero G. Um, all right. Guys, 
Lucy makes all sorts of nicotine products like gum, lozenges, and pouches. However you want to get your fix, they've got it. It's the best, most responsible way to consume nicotine. So when you feel a craving, call up your girl Lucy. We're going to have to work on that, Lucy. Maybe I'll... uh, And switch to a new nicotine product that you can feel good about. Maybe we'll get a lozenge. Maybe we'll get a lozenge. I have I have a whole box. We can get you. Maybe we do a little test on air. See how you handle it. (laughs) I think Lucy will be happy to see you go. (laughs) (laughs) Burns. Uh, Check out Lucy's full line of products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co. And use promo code drenched at the checkout. It helps support the show if you use our code. Here's the part the lawyers want me to say. Good God. <laughs> Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. God, the lawyers love ruining everything, dude. Yeah. But you already knew that. So if you're interested in a better well, way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code DRENCH. That's the disclaimer for the rock fans. True. Yeah. Like, what the hell? I don't know. I'm addicted to this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking ruined my gains. Yeah, the... Uh, I want to go to battle. I snuck some there. Lucy into the movie theater yesterday. Did you really? I was sneaking nicotine. I went and saw but you're not allowed Jackass. To yeah, you can be. Yeah. I'm sure you can. You took an, you took a I'll tell you edible? what. That stuff's so good for planes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the nicotine pouches. You need that for the aeroplane. I can see that, yeah. Um, just I want a nice nicotine edible, dude. You know when that nicotine edible hits? Ooh, when your stomach it just gets fucking destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your stomach will go nuts. If you, oh, took it. If you have man. a nicotine, it's just... Yeah, take a nice dump. That'd be a good dump. It huh? jars them. Big crap. Yeah, it jars out craps. Right. I get. I started each Don't day. Sell me on this stuff. Big, big, giant cold brews on nine hundred yeah. milligrams of caffeine. I'm just. I got to text people. I got to text, <laughs> call Billy. Just talk to Billy. I got fired up uh, two weeks ago when I went to Indianapolis. I started drinking coffee at the airport, and I was like, I was fired up. I, mean, I was in the airport, just like, yeah. I was eating dark chocolate, drinking coffees, dude. Whoa! Just firing twitters away, like. <laughs> oh, those were those tweets. You yeah. get some wild tweets. I was going. jacked up on Twitter, dude. Damn, I've been getting fucked up on Twitter myself. I'm back. Good. I tweet and then I delete. That's good. Little, I was tweeting E40 lyrics the other day and people were angry about it. Why? I was like, loyal to my soul, not a faker. <laughs> people were like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> like, like, fuck. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, uh, that's good. You're the Kanye regimen. Yeah. You, you know, have, did, have you been following his Instagram? No, fucking. Uh, Bro. Cardini was telling me. Skeet Davidson. Skeet Davidson. <laughs> He's wild on Instagram. Yeah, man. Dude, the best one, the best one was uh, Kim. Did you see that one? He. He's been screenshotting their conversations. Like she was like, "Please stop! Somebody could actually hurt Pete." And he's like, "Nobody will ever touch my family." <laughs> like, shit like that. But then he screenshotted their conversation. So she was like, "Why are you doing that? Can we please have a private conversation?" And he screenshotted that. I was like, "Because I'm your number one fan. I love you so much." <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah, that was funny when his girlfriend. He deleted all his him. his posts. Actually. Dude, that's the ultimate. Yeah, this is the best one. The Avengers poster. Yeah. With him and all his boys versus Skeet and all of his boys, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I got to show him. He abandoned Cuddy. He did. Or Cuddy yeah. abandoned him. Why? He said he doesn't want to be on Donda. He rides with Skeet. Really? Cuddy chose sides. I thought, I thought Kanye cut him from Donda because he was friends with Skeet. It could be that. Yeah. Well, I don't think, I don't think Kid Cuddy, Cuddy Yeah, Cuddy out. stepped up and was like, fuck this. Donda 2 is going to be nasty, dude. Also, again, he, this is... Dude, that was killing me. That was killing me. That was me on the Great Bear. <laughs> Why don't you read that, Sean? <laughs> no. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He's having a he's having a wild time. Yeah, he's on, gonna release Donna Two. Donna Two is gonna be nice. Donna Two is gonna be so good. He's hyping it up. Yeah. He's hyping it it's up. It's gonna be very good. It's just it literally is like a blacked out guy. I mean, he's basically blacked out. Yeah. Him at the Super Bowl. Just texting. Dude, him at the Super Bowl with a fucking the mask. The you mask see who he brought? Him? He brought Antonio Brown with him. <laughs> I that saw the guy that. Took I, I his heard that. off and quit. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, dude, Super surrounds gremlin, himself. He surrounds himself with greats. Yeah, it's fun to watch. I mean, dude. He, I mean, that's the thing too. It makes me. I find it hard to believe that he continue being a billionaire. If everyone's like, "Oh, he's totally out of control," like, or unless he has money managers, because like he has enough money to like go to war. He yeah. could like go to war or something. Yeah, he could defend the Ukraine. He could. He could literally back the Ukraine. Do you know the police force has a bigger? budget than like most militaries in the world united states police Force certainly has it's like number five in the world yeah without a doubt that's pretty sick just just the fucking boys in blue yeah we could send the thin blue The nypd is is more than most militaries yeah it's pretty sick yeah 
It's crazy. That's what I'm telling you. All these guys are just naysaying. Dude, wait till you peep Russia's GDP. Yeah, well, how's it looking? Go. Oh, yeah. Are these dude, the guys we're worried about? We're not. That's tied with Australia's GDP. It's all. It's all. It's all media stuff. Dude. Tied with like Texas. <laughs> it's all media stuff. The U.S. can sanction any Please. country it wants to at any time and just like literally ruin their economy. Yeah, but then sometimes those countries act up when you sanction them. You destabilize them. That's what. That's what the Japanese did. That's True. why that happened. That's why Pearl Harbor happened. We hit them with some sanctions. Yeah, but and they said not today, bro. Yeah. But then we said actually yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You better listen. They dropped the big Mario bullet, dude. <laughs> yeah, they did. They, <laughs> they dropped two of them. Yeah, that was. There were good sports about that, I would say. They handled it pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. They're good sports. Hey, Tom. They're good sports about that. You would what? think they'd be like all on some death to America shit. And they're like, you know, we'll show you America. And it was just like VCR. VCRs like, oh, all day. Yeah, shit. Nice. Yeah, I think. Good job, boys. I think they had a feeling. They're kind of like Germany. They were like, yeah, we were a little out of control there. Yeah, <laughs> Germany yeah. Germany feels... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of the joke I wasn't going to make, uh, <laughs> there's these pills that... Uh, dude, I was watching... Fuck was I watching? I was watching some sport with Phil. I think it was just golf. Mm -hmm. And they... No, it couldn't have been golf because there were AIDS pills commercials. Anyway, there was HIV pills commercials, and I was yeah. like, Dad, you're going to need some of those. <laughs> and he was like, what's that? What's that? And he started watching the commercial, and he was like, what? what? I was like, because you have gay AIDS. <laughs> and he was like, he got so upset, dude. <laughs> It's so funny. It's just be like, Dad, you're gonna need some of this. I forget the name of the pill. It's just two gay dudes like sitting on a dock, being like, "We have it. We're good. You know, it's great." Don't think it's it was great. Why wouldn't that be golf? Aren't golf golfers? Golf, would be no more way gay. they'd be advertising. You think golf strictly? Phil, Phil's hero? still anti Tiger Woods, dude. He's Got still that holding beef. it down for yeah. him flandering. Yeah, and I was like, dude, Tiger's the man. Tiger is the man. He was saying he was a cheater, and then he was like, I heard he fucked this this other golfer, Duffner's wife. That's when it's fucked up. And I was like, uh, this seems like a Duffner problem. <laughs> Bringing your wife to a hotel with other golfers and she ends up banging Tiger Woods. Is that a Gillis issue? Is a Duffner That's problem? That's a Duffner problem. For sure. And then I looked into Duffner's, also, you should have been Duffner's, better wife, Duffner's wife also banged a couple other players. Yeah. So that's not a Tiger thing. He yeah. was just bringing a whore in. Yeah, he married a whore. He had a whore wife. And you weren't, a hot good, whore you weren't wife. good enough at golf to Duffner was keep nasty. a whore powers in check. Duffner, and then I looked up Duffner and he was a little chubby guy. Really? Real sad thing. To have you, dude, imagine if... Cucked nationally? Cucked by Tiger Woods and you got you played against him and he just fucked you up every week in golf. And, and, and your wife. And he banged your wife. Are golf wives typically sluts? Yes. Okay. That's they true. must be, dude. They're yeah. only marrying white dorks. True. That are millionaires. True. They have to be sluts. Yeah, and they're never golfers. Typically, we got actually some heat for making fun of golfers. But <laughs> yeah, golfers get so <laughs> dude. They have that Phil gene. I think golfers have gay AIDS. And they're all like, "What? <laughs> Golf's think a hell of a sport." It. It's the perfect sport for you to get cheated on. You're gone reliably. Like nobody golfs and yeah. comes right back. You're gone eight yeah. hours a day. The, the fucking walls yeah. are down, dude. And Tiger's in if, the hotel. Tiger Woods is in the hotel. Exactly. Known billionaire. Yeah. True. The thing you're doing every weekend, Jacked. they just watch it on TV. It's Greatest cool. of all time at the thing your husband does. Yeah. Comes through the hotel, signs an autograph. It's a, it's a wrap. Ugh. Just to just to get you back for being gone every Saturday. You should be home with the kids. You work Monday through Friday, then you leave all day Saturday. Unacceptable. I'm going to blow one of your coworkers. Just hit balls in the backyard, dude. <laughs> True. You don't got to go do it. The Duffner. Just hit him. Shout out Duffner. That might be my new favorite. Yeah, little chubby guy. Just getting caught. I think he sucks now. I think after since the cucking, I, I, dude, I wouldn't be able to play. I would. Yeah, you'd have to quit, or you have to you have to kill your wife. Or no, because he wouldn't get alimony. Yeah, because I was say if, he, if they got divorced and he had to pay her, he they was, did get divorced. Did he? But yeah, I but believe. he's right. He doesn't have to like pay her alimony, does he? I think you can get cheated uh, on and still have to pay alimony. Probably if you're Duffner, if you got that much money. So he might just. Are be you guys looking at Duffner's hot wife? No, no look look at Duffner. Duffner's the man. <laughs> Yo, check, pull up his bay. How many do you think Tiger Woods? I've heard Duffner's Bay is hot. Yeah. It's very hot. Yeah. And she's in there just fucking dudes in the hotel. <laughs> that rules. It's actually cool. Tiger, you, Tiger continues to dominate. Is he still good? And then I think he endorses Trump. <laughs> He's so funny. Does he? I believe. Huh. I think Trump. A lot of great him. athletes have endorsed the dog. He's all about winning, dude. He's all about winning, and they're also retarded winners. <laughs> yeah. All these extremely great athletes are also retarded winners. So, like, Tom Brady, Conor McGregor, yeah. Masvidal, 
Tiger. This is sick squad. Pretty good, man. A lot yeah. of a lot of internet. Uh, <laughs> dude, there's definitely a little. The, the breeze is blowing, man, because there's a lot of the internet personalities. A couple of them that I follow are starting to like double down real hard on uh, on like the right. Basically. Jimmy Gaffigan came out hard on. What did Trump Gaffigan talk. say? He unleashed fury on Trump, man. Did he? Yeah. What do you say? And people are like, "Fuck Gaffigan." It's like, no, Gaffigan's the man. What do you say Let about the boy roll, dude? What do you say about the Trump man? He was just, you know, he just had a spaz. He's like, Trump's a fucking con man. Fuck this. This guy mm-hmm. sucks. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man. His I mean, seemed legit. I don't know why. Well, I guess because he never said it ever mm-hmm. until now. But tr- Gaffigan's <clears throat> seemed, I don't know. Usually I'm very critical if I think somebody's being phony or like virtue signaling. So his seemed legit. I guess you'd have to see it. Yeah. Did, yeah. He, did he do the hot pocket voice at all? <laughs> I, know, I was thinking that too. Where it's like, it's such a hard thing to be like, we need to come together as a country. And so I'm like, hey, I like that guy. <laughs> That's my president. Yeah, I saw him. Have you, you ever seen your dad run? Yeah. I saw him. I saw Have you? Him. Oh, yeah. My dad was fast. Uh, when I, I was little, him. my dad was faster than all of us. Damn. Really? Yeah. yeah, I saw He was a soccer coach too. So he was. Well, nah, he played football when he was little. Yeah. So he was quick. One time, Dad got like hammered and tried to play backyard football with everybody. I saw him. Uh, run I played. Fuck. I played yeah, with him. I remember that being little fun. and being yeah. sad watching that, like seeing really? Dad hit the ground. We rolled back. We rolled like, back oh. home, and they were all drunk, hammered, and they were like, yeah. "Come on, let's play. Let's yeah. play. Let's see what you're made of." And we were all like 18. We we're like, "Dude, we're gonna rock you." Yeah, dude. They did. That was wild. <laughs> Who Did else played? What other adults Me, played? Steve. Oh, I think Jack played. He got Michael yeah. Jack got into the Mike's Hard Lemonades there for a while. Oh yeah, they were soft. He started getting. He started getting soft, dude. I he like would it. go. He would just like he had a Winnebago, just park in the driveway, and he would go in there and just crush fucking Mike's hearts and listen to Jimi Hendrix. That's it's, awesome. It was, yeah. it was pretty tight. It's yeah. weird seeing adults dad, drunk when you're younger. I always aunt, found it uncomfortable. My aunt raced my dad at an Easter. She was talking shit. She was like, "I can beat you." This Easter? A, no, it was like, Jesus, Jeez Louise, probably like 15 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, it's probably won? last time I saw him. My dad smoked. Her. Her. Yeah. She fell like right obviously, away. Obviously, dude. But it was just, it was great to see it. Lady brain get yeah. just girls have like she's like I'm faster than you. I was like, no, you're not. That's <laughs> you're my, not. my old girlfriend. Her mom's like, I could beat you in an arm wrestle. You just couldn't. What? No. What? She, she just like, wants to touch you, bro. Dude, immediate pin. Yeah, she just. <laughs> exactly, bro. She was probably like. <sighs> so you just pin. How did you feel when Matt, you pinned we her? We were arm wrestling. That's she wanted to feel domed. I think I could beat you right now, but I won't do that on camera. What arm wrestle? Yeah, yeah you probably could kill you. You probably could That's what's cool about wrestling. Unhinged. When Russell Crowe goes off, dude, it's the reality of when a dude would throw a woman around. Holy you know how, like, when you watch out. all these superhero shows and yeah, girls, yeah. like, kicking ass? Yeah. R- Russell Crowe just walks through this He chain. beats ass. Oh, yeah. my God. He throws her around a room. Yeah, it's wild. Dude, you could definitely beat, you could beat the shit out of a girl. Yeah. So easily. Yeah. Like, dude, if Nancy Pelosi oh, had been yeah. in the Capitol and all those <laughs> guys. <she's> bald. <clears throat> what? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. Makes, how old is she? She's like 95. Yeah, she's yeah. older. older they're all like it, 70, it, 80. Dude, if yeah. Nancy Pelosi was in... <laughs> Seriously, old it fuck. is really funny how old they all are. It's crazy. If she was in the Capitol and those guys stormed it, they could have literally thrown her up to the ceiling. They, they, <laughs> they could have just pushed her over. Launched her body. Yeah. So fucking far. Mm. That's like, my dad will fucking forget you now. Like, Jesus Christ, How bad dude. do you think dad, if he wanted to, how bad do you think he'd beat up mom? Like, how quick do you think he'd beat up I think he'd punish her. <laughs> like, you think it's like three seconds? Just like a, like a standard just I think, I think oh, the a rage scenario. cry after that yeah. would be Give insane. me a scenario, though. What caused the altercation? All right, so they're in the office. You know, they're doing paperwork. My mom's like, yeah, I think we should. We really got it. And he's like, Mayor, I am I, I know how to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she's Meanwhile, like, I'm look- sick of this, and slams the paper, scatters everything, and then he stands up. He's like, this is fucking it. Dude. This is it. I've been waiting. This is it. Yeah, she, like, throws a stapler, and it hits his elbow. So she does. She draws first blood. Yeah, yeah. And he stands up, and he's like, I got to contain Who was this. I just talking about this? We're we fucking, were talking about that. We were talking about The geezer finally beating his wife. Yes, dude. Just yes. being 70 years old and just being like, fuck it. <laughs> this is it. They def- dude, that definitely happens. They can yeah. take punches. Or, like, your nursing home girlfriend. Who can? Geese? Geese women? What? All those orderlies fucked them I mean, up. they took them. They grew up on them. <laughs> I, think I, feel, I feel like I talk about this every time I'm on this podcast, but like, I always think be? about it. Just like fucking smacking the shit out of old people. Like, it's elder abuse. Yes, dude. Oh, yeah. Like in the eye. It's wild, dude. It's, it's elder crazy, abuse, dude. You know how fucking bad they piss you And off? they eat that shit. They say yeah, a lot of fucked up that. shit. When my, mom, of- when my mom was in a home, dude. Oh, yeah. We would walk in to see her. They would look at us. Yeah. All of the black ladies would look at us and yep. be like, that's your grandma? All the Lizzo's? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, dude. They were fuming. Yeah, man. Yeah, my, my pop used to sound off pretty hard. Yeah. I don't fucking trust that guy. Get him out of here. And you'd be like, yeah. It was before all the stuff. So you'd just be like, 
Bye bye. Yeah, before all the stuff. Bye bye. bye. That's crazy. Guys. <laughs> yeah, no, they go they go hard in the paint. Oh, yeah, that's dude. that's like part of the uh, attraction of a nursing home. Yeah. Just like they say whatever the fuck they are good. <laughs> yeah, once you're old, dude. Just... Nurses are cool. They don't care. They let you say it and it's fucking laugh. They don't care. <laughs> the, we had one guy in uh in our high school. He was like, yo, he's cool, dude. He lets us say the N-word around. He doesn't even care. <laughs> there, there was dude. There was a dude. There, they would come in and be like, yo, he doesn't even care, dude. You could like, you can like. Those literally that. They're like cleaning up shit for like a year from yeah. one of these dudes. Yeah. Then they snap. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And film it. It's just Always. crazy that they're filming it. Film it. Who's filming it? The old. I don't know. No. Oh, sometimes yeah. the they're families do it. They have body cams. Yeah. No, sometimes the families like, like grandpa all lumped up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see some scratches. It's like a yellow eye. Grandpa. It's like ground and pound. They're it's wild. They're beating the shit out of them. Oh yeah, dude. It is a small price to pay to say it. Well, <laughs> just occasionally while you're sleeping, you just get a bunch of dead legs, yeah. but you still get to unleash. Uh, a few eyes on a crush. Yeah, and mm -hmm. if they catch you, that's a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. They catch you crushing. This, this, is, this, second one's this is clearly yeah. just another way to arrest black people. They're like, we're going to make true. menthol cigarettes illegal. Remember after slavery, they made no loitering laws, so it's they could true. still get their, like, cotton picked <laughs> so like you can hang around i was like well we can't get jobs like you're come on yeah, I gotta jump let's go, yeah. yeah they gotta do that they gotta figure out a way to still like your taillights out i'm like am i even driving like yeah, yeah this is yeah. the this is the yeah, point it's, it's a little too easy little, this yeah. is the most obvious like if you had to pick one mental if you like make one thing illegal that just yeah. black people are gonna get arrested for yeah they're called cadillacs in jail oh yeah come through with the cadillacs Damn. that's all the black dudes call them also white trash what? Oh yeah! They cross oh mental. yeah! Oh yeah, yeah man! Yeah. I mean, dude, that's that's a secret of the universe. Yeah, yeah. Black dudes and white trash kind of fuck with the same stuff. <laughs> I, they should I, just get along. Stop they should get along. The, they Bill Clinton. It's the <laughs> cooling mechanism that makes your throat less irritated, which makes you want to be able to smoke more. Hmm. Which is why they're so harmful. It's minty. Yeah. Well, is that uh, what I like a menthol once in a while. Yeah. Is that why they're harmful? That's what I've heard. Huh? Like a regular cigarette, people. I heard they put fiberglass in your throat when I was twelve, glass. and I I've been running too. with that yeah. ever since. With yeah. Just menthols? I mean, it's a or it's something I heard when I was. 12. Yeah. I heard that about all. So I heard about dip. Too. Really? Yeah. Fiberglass? Yeah. Mm. Shit. And I kept that until I was about thirty. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it cuts your mouth up, and then the tobacco it's gets in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you're retarded. I was like, what? <laughs> do you ever, do you dip? Are you? I had to. I had to stop, but I still dip like Zin. It's like a nicotine pouch. Is that the pouch. snooze? I think I don't know. The I'm not toasted sure. stuff from Sweden? No. Do you spit still? <laughs> no. Oh, that's that's good. probably the it's snooze. Stuff. You probably know about the snooze, the right? The spit the spit is like that's like you're not yeah, coming in my car if you're spitting. You don't spit. That's good. Yeah, yeah it's tough to open. You, you go to you go to Sweden and, and those the Scandinavian countries, the the women do this too. What? Yeah, I heard about They this. have they pack the snooze in the lips. It's like Give a it But you don't spit snooze, right? You just don't Upper between your gum and your lip. I just had on your top. dental surgery on Ooh, this. Oh, don't do that. Don't do the that. Other definitely project. don't do that. Don't do anything. Yeah, it'll yeah, burn. Definitely don't do that. Yeah, that would hurt like hell. Yeah. I'm going to give it a rip. I yeah, like, rip I it. Rip. I like France these every once in a while. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's am main I? power. Yeah, I like it. Up, dude. I've always liked it. Yeah. But, but I, I was asking, why am I nuts? Because I, oh. love, I love when you say stuff like that. Because you're just... You're just fucking throwing caution to the wind, dude. I can't tell you how much I want another bite of that apple, but I've held off. Do it. You guys told me not brown. to. It's very crispy. No, I don't want to choose your life for you, dude. What did Francis? What did you major in at Harvard? Uh, <laughs> government with a focus on the Middle East. Really? Wow. Yeah. You wanted to bring down the Muslims. Yeah, man. No, I wanted to work for the CIA. True story. Really? Mm -hmm. What are the CIA up to? Aren't they bringing down the Muslims? I think they are among them. That's one of their goals. You, you would have dug in nicely. They would have never thought you were an operative. <laughs> 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 well, you know. You're right. <laughs> Did you ever see that movie, uh, Bridge of Spies? No, it wasn't Bridge. What's the one with Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio? Where yeah. Catch me if you can. Not Catch me if you can. Yes, yep. that's the no, one. Syriana. You guys are way. That's got to be is it. Is Syriana or the one with like, Russell Crowe? No, um, the one with Russell Crowe. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> What's eating Gilbert Grape? No, Damn, I, we're doing it. The cast so, is too litty. So. <laughs> Middle Eastern studies, U.S. government. And you no, to Middle Eastern. Did government. they tell you who did 9-11 in college? <gasps> no. Fuck, it's bullshit. It's secret no. safe, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> you edit that up with... What kind of shit did they teach you about? <laughs> well, I'll... I, said yes. I, you know, the, <laughs> I, I tried to learn Arabic, but it was too hard. 
True. It was fucking hard. You're Do you remember any words? Uh, uh, you just made that no, up, dude. That was racist as hell. <laughs> no, that means, uh, like, and then there's, you know, inshallah. And then, Obviously, uh, go with Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh, yeah. Chleb. You, you, now you're making That's it. a dog. What? Chleb. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> My brother-in-law is an Arab. I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it makes me sick, dude. I might join the CIA now to go over there and fucking... <laughs> <laughs> do you see that new cia commercial no join the cia what yeah no oh the girl one did what you the see fuck? it is it you're talking about homeland that, it basically <laughs> is really there's Claire a Danes. i don't know what it is there's like an ad for the cia it's like what? a video of this latina woman yeah. she Latinx. literally is like i am latinic and She's like, I'm a, she's like, I suffer from anxiety disorder. She's just like one of those, she's a woke. And she's joining the CIA. And she's in the CIA. What the fuck? Why would they, why would they use And they're advertising it. They're like, look how powerful these kick-ass women are in the CIA. Wow. It's insane. Whoa. I don't Whoa. understand. Are it, they, dude, are they you, saying like crazy. you yeah, can They're have... trying to destroy the family. They're going to take all of the wives and put them in the CIA. Obviously, this is the next level. <laughs> it's the crazy. And also, every single military commercial is like, I'm a black woman in the Air Force. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Those but commercials are all it. Nobody knows how to be woke. So they're it's like, like go, oh, go, black go, stuff. We'll do black get stuff. Get white trash. <laughs> <laughs> they having to. the military be woke. They like just come out of like bombing a small yeah. village and they're like, what are we doing? Black ladies? All right. They used to properly target words while bombing a village. Yeah, yeah. They had the mm. best white trash ads. It was like, "Are you ready to climb a mountain and fight a fucking dragon?" We do yeah. more. Yeah, and we every do more poor white guy yeah. was like, "Hell yeah. yeah!" Are you ready to face your worst tattoo? <laughs> 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 now it's like, yeah. I don't imagine Bro, us doing this. Their mother. These. They apparently. I think some people. They, the guy was in the book was like. Some people say it's not the case, but apparently these dudes were making hard tack out. They of were my hangry, thighs. dude. They're hangry and they're munching dead they Muslim bodies. So also, I'll be honest. If you're thinking about us doing this, Matt, the way Matt's hood looks, and especially with the candles, you look kind of like a crusader right now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. You look like a bit of a pilgrim. You look like a pilgrim. You look like a religious pilgrim. He's got a military cut. <laughs> yes, dude. And now that you're skin and bones, you look like a true pilgrim. True, dude. I just, just, I look like Pope Urban, dude. Just like <laughs> lard ass Pope. <laughs> Saying, bring me boys. <laughs> I want boys. Go kill them. <laughs> kill the Dude. infidels. Bring me a boy's ass. So we're talking. Yeah, Matt. June, what year is this? Huh? June. What? So June seventh, ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. All right. Jerusalem appears on the horizon. Mm. Soldiers are. They've been kept up a blistering pace. Luckily, they passed through a lot of different towns and stuff on the way. But they had such a terrifying summer of ten ninety nine. Summer bro. of love, bro. It was had, the summer. They had dude. such a terrifying reputation because they were like just doing terrible stuff the whole time. I have they heard no there were cannibals and stuff. Fear. You don't think you have a rep of fear? Like no one's afraid. I I imagine rep. like we rolled in. What? It's got to be Bro, so sweet to roll. People quake. It's got to be so sweet to roll in somewhere and everyone's like, "Holy shit, they're here." Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude, like, dude, it was a bunch of, by the way, you were the size of every crusader. Yes. They were all <laughs> your dimensions. And yeah, but they dude, were breaking into towns hungry and horny. Most of the wars yeah. have been this. The they what? Were, oh, yeah. Most they, of the wars have been this. Yeah, they were breaking pause. into a, like, in small oasis towns where they're just butt fucking everybody and eating <laughs> the dudes. Yeah. Yes, they had a lot of fear. <laughs> It was an army of Dahmers. Dude. <laughs> Fucking 10,000 Dahmers to coming to your town. Dahmer, dude. dude, they would launch live. They would catch dudes and launch live people into cities. Yeah. With catapults. So dude would be sick. alive and they'd stuff oh, yeah. him in the catapult and launch him into the city. And there'd be a guy like ah! dude, <laughs> flying into your city. Into a stone wall. <laughs> they'd be stop. outside your town cutting dudes' heads off and laughing at you. And you'd All be right, like, bro. Dude, but it's you, 1099. We're in Jerusalem. Like, you want some milk, dude? You're cool. We don't. We're not going to fight you guys. The shittiest time of it's all shitty, time, dude. <laughs> dude. It's so shitty. So yeah, dude. They so they no eat... concept of heat stroke and armor. No, dude, they these were... guys are from Europe, wearing full like male <laughs> night suits. <laughs> Falling, it's dude. 150 degrees out. These yeah, dudes man. are oh. cooking. They're dude. like, all right, we're going to march to the next city. They're like, how far is it? 80 miles. We're just going to walk. And, it, dude, and metal and 
helmets. Like, in metal. Also, there's <laughs> these dudes. Fucking heated up metal. They make, there's these dudes that might appear at any second, like quadruple the size of our forces yeah. and just destroy us. They're like, where are they from? Like, Egypt, where's that? They're like, I have no, no clue. No idea, yeah. It's far. It's that way. Yeah, it's over. There's, There's the sun. <laughs> 50,000 guys on horseback with, with bows and arrows. But when we get to Jerusalem, our way. there's going to be booty. Bro. We're going to get the booty, dude. And God's going to be so pumped on us. <laughs> also, too, they were, again, they kept, there was some Heavy of them, they, and, you know, again, everyone's motives were different. But in the book, they were saying, like, a lot of these dudes had, like, an apocalyptic vibe where they're, like, this, this is, the they, they thought this was, like, Book of Revelation shit. They're, like, they're going to start seeing, like, swirling chariots and they're like we're going to fulfill the prophecy fuck yeah so there's dudes going into jerusalem they see jerusalem and they're like dude we're entering the bible this shit's going to be sick isn't that funny that's how people work always yeah like it's the end times <laughs> yeah, yeah literally you listen to any news channel or podcast or talk to anybody yep they're like this is it yep it's the end times it's like no dude that was the end times <laughs> yeah that, those guys were right to be like <laughs> fuck this is hell dude we got to launch this sick guy back into that town. Hopefully everyone gets sick. <laughs> like, what's he sick with? Demons. And you're like, something, oh, man. Fuck. Something bad. So far, anybody that's been in a tent with him has died. Yeah. So we're going to put him on a fucking trebuchet and launch him into this fucking shitty town. Dude, wait till you hear how bad this sucks. That Then it's like, the thing has sucked the whole time. This It just gets worse all the time. So they go to they go to Jerusalem. <laughs> The walls, so it's two miles diameter, I think two and a half miles of 60 foot high walls yes. on elevated tract of land with valleys falling shit, on just three different sides of this fucking city. So, you know, battlements Wait, everywhere. Which town is it? Oh, this is Jerusalem. Just Jerusalem. They're, oh, they're, they're the Holy the City. Jerusalem. Yeah, they're the Holy City. So, so the idea was, again, with all the valleys and stuff, you had to attack from either the north or the southwest. But the north, where the north was, there was just like a double wall. So, like, the main gates around the north where there wasn't, like, valleys and stuff, there was a whole other wall. So, you had an outer wall, like a square, basically, with just dudes and towers and arrows. Almost, I mean, impenetrable. And then to the, I think they said the southwest, there was, they dug a dry moat. So, it was like, you they just dug these deep-ass fucking yeah. holes. So, you're like, fuck. You're just moated. Yeah, you're. It was just you're just kind of like, dude, this sucks. Hello, Moto. And that was actually, I think of the, I think the southwest. That's a, uh, the Tower of David. That's what the British said, guard dog. <laughs> Hello, Moto. <laughs> <laughs> and the southwest of the Tower of David, made of rock, sealed with molten lead. <laughs> dang, just, dang, dude, that stinks, dude. So right now, so then they're like, all right, how are we going to plan the attack? Raymond of Tulu, kind of a loser among the Crusaders because of the, you know, Peter of the Spear, Peter Bartholomew guy. Um, so they were like, all right, Tulu, you go. Tulu was like, who's riding with me? And everyone was like, nah, bro, we're going with Godfrey. So Tulu had to take his squad and go to the southwest gate. Godfrey goes to the north, the double walls, just the absolutely bossed up level. Tulu goes like, I'll go to the southwest. Because there was that dry moat, and his whole plan was like, I'm going to pay these poor idiots three rocks per penny. For every three rocks they throw into the moat, I'll give them a penny. And they just filled it up with, like, rocks. They sat there for two weeks and threw rocks into dude, a hole <laughs> for three weeks. This is a carnival. I know, dude. dude. I know. Imagine being one of the guards on the tower, and you see them start throwing rocks in, and you're like, fucking idiots. <laughs> Wake up three days later, you're like, oh. Yeah, dude. These guys are starting to make some fucking progress. They also I'm going to light one of them up. You just light up yeah. a peasant. Well, dude, they did that, rocks. too. They did that, too. Zoom. So... <laughs> so again this is do or die they had oh also the crusaders had no reinforcement networks they were hundreds of miles away from any allies like they had to take the wall like, they had to take the city yeah like they had to do it they had to do it during the summer but uh there was an egyptian governor installed in jerusalem who poisoned all the surrounding wells and cleared large stretches okay. of w trees so like holy shit dude so what happens is so again this is summer dude so the crusaders all they had was one scaling ladder if they have one, one little, ladder, no water. One ladder, no water. So they launched the first attack on June 13, 19, or 1099. Covered in metal. Dude, Bro, one covered ladder, in metal. One ladder with like a thousand dudes. <laughs> you're like, ah. <laughs> and then you get so, there and you're like, all right. And a, the reason. One they, second. They said allegedly. <laughs> this uh, is going to take four days yeah. for us to get <laughs> up there. Somebody foot the ladder. Somebody foot the ladder. <laughs> Dude, so, and apparently the reason they launched on June 13th is because they were, like, they were around, they encountered a hermit on the Mount of Olives, and the dude was like, yo, you should fuck them up right now. 
And they were like, oh, for sure. We're going yeah. right now. <laughs> by, by the way, we just encountered exactly what they, you, you saw those hermits outside of the, the cellar. Yeah. There's homeless dudes everywhere out there. If you walked by one of them and they're like, go now, you'd be like, dude, shut up. So every, so just he, told, every time they added a slave state, they'd have to add a free to add slave. A free free oh, one to really? make sure it was balanced. Yeah. So that's when we added Maine. Missouri got to be a slave state. That's it for him. Hmm. John Quincy Adams. Yeah, so John Quincy Adams was Secretary of State. John Quincy Adams had a big role in the in, in the um, in Florida. Yeah, and he had a big role in that compromise. That was a big part. He was a statesman. John Quincy Adams, fucking fascinating guy. I yeah. read his biography. The thing about him and his father is that they wrote copious, really long diary entries, so we know a lot about those guys. But um, he was he traveled with his father to England. He's a, he was like the last link to the Great yeah. Revolution. Yeah, because he was with his father wherever he went, and he took him to uh, France. He ended up being a diplomat. He was the first um, American uh, ambassador to Russia. He lived in Saint Petersburg, Russia, and him and his. Oh wait, was he the one who helped them kind of revolutionize? I don't or was that before? remember that. that okay. I mean, but he was in Russia way, way back then. He'd take like a sleigh to to, you know, countries that aren't there anymore, like Prussia. And uh, he was he traveled all over. He traveled more than any like human being back then. Yeah. And he went across the ocean several times. So like something like 12 times back and Jeez. forth. Now, An his amazing guy, his incredible a, guy. His opponent was Jackson in this election. Yeah. Jackson dominated one. He won the popular vote by a greater margin than Reagan beat Carter. It was a landslide victory for him. But Jackson, in the Battle of New Orleans, came out and said all the guys from Kentucky were being fucking cowards. What? So then when it comes to the Electoral College, the guy counting the votes happened to be like a senator or something from Kentucky. What? And it was like, fuck this guy. <laughs> and he just swung like 10 states. Because back then, back then, the Electoral College made perfect sense. Nobody in any state had ever heard of one of these guys. Mm -hmm. There was no news. There was no fucking anything. Now, you needed somebody. Yeah, you needed super delegates. You needed to, to it, just get things. your local guy yeah. and be like, you, you go. go. You go figure it out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But that was enough for this guy to swing all these dudes in the meetings to be like, dude, Fuck Jackson's me. a fucking dickhead. <laughs> we need John Quincy Adams. So he swung. I mean, it was. It was John Quincy moved. Adams Cowardly was another moved. nerd, one term nerd. Yes. Who just couldn't get. I mean, as a president, he couldn't get. And he got almost nothing done, partly because Jackson and his people yeah. just thwarted every single thing Jackson he tried. Had, the whole country loved Jackson. Everybody fucking loved that dude. <laughs> he was Trump. So much. He was Trump. He was Trump. He was, <laughs> imagine if Trump like dueled as yeah. much as Jesus. Christ. Jackson yeah, died Jackson with dudes. something like twelve <laughs> bullets in his body. Yeah. What? That never left his body. He dueled all the time. Yeah. Let's just go straight to Jack Jackson. He's the next Wait, president. Wait, just he, he can't not be mentioned, John Quincy. JQA. Yeah, fuck John Quincy. John Quincy Adams. Well, after his presidency, he was in Congress forever from Massachusetts. Yeah. He died at his seat what? in Congress. Wow. He died in at his desk. He was because his thing, he was a huge abolitionist. He was like the only guy in the Congress willing to be an out and out. The slave states had so much power that they passed a law a gag law that said you can't say the word slavery in Congress. Well, there yeah. used to be, a, there was a thing in Congress back then called petitioning. <laughs> Anyone could send a petition to their congressperson and they had to say it, they had to mention it. So like you could send a thing to Congress saying, um, I oh, want all, you know, I want retards to be allowed to drive, whatever you would do. <laughs> want retarded people to have driver's license. Yes. And he would say, he'd have to go, okay, the petition from Shane Gillis, <laughs> he wants retards to honorable. drive the honorable and everyone would go i move to table it and then they just table <laughs> it <laughs> but they passed a law saying you couldn't even you couldn't even mention a petition that said the word slavery because that's how electrified that it was like we don't want anybody we know you're trying to get rid of slavery we don't even want you to say and they passed it so john uh, uh quincy adams would do it and he would just break the law and he would just say it over and over again, he would read petitions about slavery and he would get sent. Then they would all vote the whole Congress to censure him for going against the rules. And he got censured over and over yeah. again. And he he uh, represented the Amistad slaves and got them Holy set shit. free. Yeah, did what? you know that? No. 
Yeah, he was the the slave ship that was taken over by slaves mm -hmm. and was grounded in Massachusetts, I think. Um, so he was saying the S word. He got in trouble. Yeah. He got not only in trouble, they came, <laughs> those slaves asked him to represent that he was their lawyer. What? Because they were all, they were Virginia slave masters who were waiting for, they were Haitian slaves that they were waiting for, that they had paid for. But he found a way just with, it wasn't like a slavery is wrong trial. It was, you yeah. guys don't have a receipt trial. It was like, you ain't got the paperwork, go fuck yourselves. So they were, nice, so they were free. But, oh. he, but yeah, he died. He was in the middle of a big impassioned argument. He was yelling and he had a heart attack and he died right there with the, the whole Congress around him Just watching because him. they loved and People loved that guy. Yeah. Whoa. He was a great guy. He was the first president or former president to ride on a steamship and he used to ride on the steamships with a blanket over him. And folks would surround him. All the passengers would surround him, and just he would just tell stories. And he was a great guy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, I know. I know. I need. <laughs> There's just a part of me that liked Jackson. Jackson's great, but I mean, I mean, and again, to me, I'm I re, I, I look at all these guys. I evaluate them as characters. They're all mm. great, amazing yeah. characters. They all did awful things, of course. Yeah, 